the Beverly Hills Plastic Surgery Podcast. I'm Dr. Millicent Rovello, and I am here today with my co-host, Dr. Jay Calvert. Dr. Millicent Rovello, That's how me. are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm really good, actually. You've been running around like a nut today. I've been running around like a nut. And I don't know how much I've actually accomplished. I just feel like I'm like <laughs> spinning my wheels. A lot of lot of motion, but maybe not so much forward right. motion. Like you know when you just have so much work to do that you'd rather just like run around than actually do the work. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's, that well. was me today. <laughs> well, you got a lot of people here, and that's good. Um, you know, we've got a. It's been a pretty busy summer, I gotta say. Yeah, it has been. Summer usually is pretty busy. We have the kids out of school. We have people on vacation. So, summer is sort of when we ramp up, and then we hit September, and it's just like a hard stop. Just all like skids down. Right, because everybody goes back to school. <laughs> Everyone's and back to school. It's busy. Yeah. yeah, I've been I've been facelifting everybody lately. You know, you got to get those faces up. I know we gotta. <laughs> you do. Uh, I I just you know the fellows started the new fellows. And, uh, you know, I think Dr. Stepien was wondering where are the rhinoplasties that he heard so much about because we seem to be doing facelifts every other minute. Give them time. Yeah, they're, they're the coming. rhinoplasties will come. <laughs> Don't you work, <laughs> young Stepien. They're but coming. That's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Actually, actually, today we are going to be talking about aesthetic breast reconstruction uh, and its limits and its challenges because. This is a tough one. This is where things get really challenging and frustrating both for the patients and for the surgeons. Yeah, I mean, aesthetic breast reconstruction, I think you said like all breast reconstruction should be considered aesthetic Aesthetic. breast reconstruction. Like Like we're trying to make it look nice. Yeah, there shouldn't be like a non-aesthetic breast (laughs) reconstruction. (laughs) There's an otherwise- in there and that's it. Yeah, what are we doing? So the idea, and and maybe it's a catchphrase, maybe it's just a marketing scam, but the idea is that aesthetic breast reconstruction is that you're really doing your best and bringing in techniques from the aesthetic world and just an aesthetic eye to breast reconstruction. But that's what it should be all along. I mean, it's not just about creating a mound of a breast. It should be about making it look as nice as possible. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to like get it through the operation and the patient's like, what is this? I wanted it to look like a breast. Mm-hmm. And then they say, oh, you wanted an aesthetic as- breast ah, reconstruction. That's different. You didn't, you didn't say that. You got to say that to us. No, no, no that's, that's not, not how, how it works. works. <laughs> we make really nice looking breasts the best we can, but there are limitations. There are limitations. And Part of this whole concept of aesthetic breast reconstructions is plastic surgeons really going above and beyond, trying to make it look as nice as possible, and patients really starting to expect amazing results because our techniques have improved, our devices have improved. So we really have come a long way over the past 15, 20 years in being able to make these breast reconstructions way more aesthetic than they used to be, you know, 20, 30 years ago. But with that has come some unrealistic expectations on the patient's part because they are seeing what's out there. They're seeing what's available. They're seeing the Instagram posts. They're seeing the websites. And they just assume a lot of times that that's what they are going to be able to achieve. But not so because every case of breast reconstruction is different. Totally different. This is where the most differences could probably possibly abound in a plastic surgery reconstruction. Because going back to the very basic reason of why we're here is this patient has breast cancer or they have a gene that predisposes them to having breast cancer. So at baseline, they are starting out with a disease process. And that disease process is going to vary widely amongst everyone. Some patients have very, very small cancer that barely needs any kind of surgery. Some patients have a very aggressive, advanced cancer that's going to require the whole book of treatments to be thrown at it, from chemotherapy to radiation to mastectomies. So every disease process is going to be very unique to the patient. So that's number one. Number two is that every patient is going to come with a totally different breast from any other patient. And so the breasts themselves are unique. So now you come 